What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Now today we are going on the Mount Cook track, the Hooker Valley track to be precise. We're going to show you all through this trackway, the scenery around and the glacier at the end with the icebergs in the lake. Hopefully there are some this time. Last year we come through here and there were lots of icebergs in the lake. Today I'm not so sure because I've seen some photos recently of the lake and there's not a lot but that was a week or so ago so hopefully there's a few more in there. So let's go on this trackway and have a look. So follow me. So we're here, we're to go all the way through, cross the first swing bridge through here, second one up through here to the third one and then to the Hooker Lake and then we should see the, the glacier up at the end of the lake. The Hooker Glacier there. And the Tasman Glacier is on the other side but we're not going to do that today because we we did that a few years back. But it's about three degrees when we arrived at the car park here so uh, we're wrapped up nice and warm so um, I forgot to bring my beanie because we didn't expect snow at the end of March. And I didn't bring gloves either, so I've got to keep my hands in my pocket, warm them up. <laughs> so come on, let's go up this trackway. <laughs> This is just the start of the track and you can see over there is it right about there I think that's what I'm pointing to is <laughs> <It's> the hermitage <laughs> it's hard to see in the screen actually what you're pointing to because it's so small I'll show you bits and pieces of the track as we're going through it won't be the whole lot because it takes about an hour and a half to walk and I'm not doing a one and a half hour solid walk through the track. that is the Mueller Lake. There's a trackway around there but we're not going on that today. We're heading around across the bridge down here and up through the valley. You can see the, the helicopter out there just hovering over the lake. But we'll carry on. We're coming up to our first bridge, so I'll walk you across that. And you'll see the milky coloured water coming off the glacial lake. As you can see, it's quite milky. And that is Mueller Lake, or Lake Mueller, whichever one way you round you want to say it. Look at all that ice and snow up there. Wow. So that's our first swing bridge crossing we've got two more to go so probably about an hour and ten minutes <sighs> I 
Oops, squeaking a bit. <laughs> That's our first bridge. So we'll move on to the next one. It's a cool trail, go around through here and you see the people way across there, up through the trackway. And out to a view of Mueller Lake again. See that a few times on the track we're around here. So we're coming up to our second bridge of this trek. So I'll switch this round. You can have a look at where we're going. Across here, through round and round to the right. So across this bridge. For those who like a little bit of motion in the bridges, these have it. <laughs> look at the moss on the trees. That was quite cool. Maximum 20 people. So you get a little bit of motion. <laughs> You'll hear the water is quite loud as you come up over the top of it. And again, this water is very milky looking from all the um, glacial waters feeding down into Miola Lake from Hooker, Hooker Lake and that is pretty swift down there you wouldn't want to get caught in that Oh yeah, we want to go up there now. And look at the scene we have in front of us. Hope you can hear us. 
around the corner. We get up near the Hooker, Hooker Lake and see Mount Cook. So like I say, these bridges move a little bit if you like a little bit of movement. <laughs> if, you, if you get a little seasick, you might not like it. <laughs> but they're not too bad. It's not like on a ship. <laughs> you get a few people on there, it moves around a little bit, but it's not too bad. That snow up there, I don't know how well that's picking it up, but sort of bluish colours up in the peaks up here. This is our third bridge. We walk all the way along the track along here and yeah, you see some little waterfalls coming down the side of the hill and up there as well and up there all over the place. So carry on. You see the mountains full of snow. Imagine what it would be like in the middle of winter. Snow down to ground level. It would be quite spectacular, but very treacherous. There's a few places with these wooden walkways. A few parts here.
we're coming up to a third bridge. We're going to take you across that and wait for people to take their photos. Hi. Right, here we go. The third bridge, and it's got snow. <laughs> yeah, it's moving. <laughs> and again, that milky coloured water. <laughs> you see the snow down here. Ice. There's ice on the bridge. Look at that. And the view back towards Mount Cook Village. So, head across this and we shouldn't be too far away from the end of the lake because around the corner over there around the corner over there is the Hooker Lake so we shall see the lake and the glacier very very shortly Did you like that? What? Did you enjoy that? Yeah, well, that'd be nearly king to be sitting in the Yeah. Hi. Hi. I don't know how clear this is coming out. It might be a bit overexposed, but see the big build up of snow and ice up there. I spotted something. I don't think so. Well guys, we're nearly there, we're just uh, a few minutes away from climbing over the top of the, this little track and seeing the view of Mount Cook, well if the clouds weren't there you'd see Mount Cook, but the Hooker Lake, so it's up at the end of this trackway, up over the rise there is the Hooker Lake. So we'll see what sort of uh, icebergs we get in the lake. I know last time we had heaps. I'm not so sure this time. But you get to experience with, uh, with us walking over the track and get that first view of the lake. Whew. Getting warm with all this gear on though. I'm glad I had the jacket on because it's been cold in here. I can see a few icebergs in the lake. And a big one over there. Look at that big one through there. Isn't that cool? Definitely not as many as last time, but in saying that, 
that's still pretty special. Check that out. It's a pity there wasn't more icebergs in the lake. Oh Isn't wow, that? it's so beautiful. Because last time we had heaps over here, didn't we? Yeah, last time was a lot heaps. more little ones, but that's a huge big one. Yeah. That one, there's, there. that one there's quite cool. Wow. I don't know how deep this lake is, so I don't know if it's grounded itself there. But these other smaller ones have been slowly floating towards the outlet, which is just over there. So we'll go further down here, eh? You see there's plenty of people here, pretty popular. And there's the glacier, just straight through there. Though it's covered in shingle, so you don't see much of it from, like it's at the top of it, because it's, it's all covered in shingle. But you can see the face of the glacier. You see the, you see where the, um, like a like a little cave in the middle of it. It's probably all melting out through there, probably. Pretty cool, pretty cold too. So that's the Hooker Valley track. We finally did it. Um, we did come in here last year and walk the track, but we had a few interruptions and we didn't get around to um, doing a video about the track. So I'm glad we come back this year, 2023, and did the track. It's a bit cold, but that was because of the snow we had yesterday, which was pretty much out of season um, at the end of March which is only just the beginning of um, autumn, yeah. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked that, that video about the track. And if you do, put a like and subscribe. And any comments, put them down in the comment section and I'll um, answer every question. So um, that's it for today. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again on the next one.